Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. I am so excited today in case you haven't been noticing around YouTube land. Um, our friend, our pal, Mary Ellen over at Prepper Potpourri organized this really great monthly collaboration. So once a month, the first Tuesday of every month, we will be coming at you with a shelf-stable pantry recipe collaboration. The best part about this, okay, is that whoa, we're creating a cookbook, you know, or helping you create a cookbook, technically, okay? Because all of these recipes are going to be available to print. You're going to be able to take the recipes, either put them into your own Word document and print them, or you're going to be able to print off uh, a printable that we have available. Depends on the channel and, and where they're at. But she created this really great graphic and she um, has it available for download so that you can print it off and put it in the cover of your own binder so that every month you can add to it. So the really awesome part is that absolutely everything in here is shelf stable pantry food. So we're going to be creating recipes using only shelf stable pantry food, which means no refrigerator, no freezer, strictly from the pantry. I am so excited about this because a lot of times that's the question we get is, okay, I've done this. Now what do I do with it? So we're going to show you all the really cool things that you can do with it. And it's everything from main entrees to side dishes to desserts, you name it, we're going to be doing it. So get ready to put your binder together because it is going to be chock full of amazing, amazing recipes. Today, we are going to be bringing you some black bean soup. Now there are two ways that you can make this amazing soup. You can either make it where it has no meat, you know, so it's a meatless Monday kind of thing, or you can add meat. In this case, we are going to add meat. Wah. Okay. Here's the really sweet part. Every single ingredient in here is from the pantry. Dust included. Yes. Okay. So let me run through this real quick, but of course there will be a link down below. For this recipe, the best part about this is that if you uh, are out of electricity, okay, you can grab all this stuff, put it in a pot over, you know, uh, my fondue pot solution or a sterno can or put the pot on your wood burner or over something outside your grill, you know, whatever the case may be. And you can create this meal in a matter of minutes. Now me, I'm, I'm slammed today. I got a lot going on. So we're actually going to put it in the crock pot and let it just mm, stew together for a couple of hours. And then Phil and I are going to have dinner. I'm so excited about this, you guys, because it is just crazy, crazy good. So I'll be bringing you in and showing you how we do this. But literally, this is all of these ingredients. Take them, dump them in the pot, heat it up, and you are good to go. I can't believe this. And, okay, you've got your protein because remember, we can black beans. Now, in this instance, I am adding ground meat to it, so I'm going to be adding ground meat. We've got Rotel. We've got diced tomatoes. I have my Thrive corn because, oh my God, it's so good in there, right? And then we've got a can of chicken stock that I made. Some garlic. I mean, literally, you can use, as far as garlic goes, you can use, um, you know, garlic powder or, you know, whatever you've got on hand. I'm using my Thrive freeze-dried garlic because I have it, okay? Cumin, chili powder salt, you know, whatever you want to add. So let's get to, um, dumping. Okay. So we've got the crock pot. Yes, we do. And literally we're just going to go through and put all of this stuff in. Remember you can print out the recipe, uh, at the link down below. And then you just take that recipe. If you know, if this is something that you think that you would like and you add it into your shelf stable pantry meal, uh, recipe binder. Yeah, it's going to be so good. Okay. And you could totally make this meatless, like I said, but yeah, Phil and I kind of, we kind of dig our meat, you know. We like our protein. We do. And since I've got it in a jar, um, because I'm prepared and stocked up, that's what we're going to do. And so now we've got, oh yeah, black beans. So good. I love black beans. They're like my favorite bean. They really are. I like them because they hold their texture really well. They have an amazing flavor. They're so adaptable. So adaptable. Okay. And you can obviously alter this recipe to your taste. Okay, so let's say you don't have any black beans, but you've got pinto beans. Do it. Yeah, you can do it. Mix this around any way you want. 
you don't have ground beef, but ooh, ground sausage sounds good, doesn't it? Actually, ground sausage sounds very good. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. Okay, I love my freeze-dried corn. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of garlic. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, and then I have my chili powder. Mmm, 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 mmm. And chili powder is the bomb. Okay, so it says two to three teaspoons of chili powder. So I'm going to do three because, you know, that's that's the way I roll, my friends. And then it is just one teaspoon of ground cumin. Yay. See, not difficult, not hard at all, right? Okay, so now we're just going to take that and we're just going to give it a little mix because I can't stand to have it just sitting there like that. Oh, look at it. Already. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So I'm going to turn the crock pot on low and I'm going to set this for three hours just to let all of the flavor marry together. Is that necessary? No. Like I said, if you want to just mix this all together in a pot and then heat it up, you're good. That's all you have to do. I'm cramped for time today, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the lid on, set it for three hours on low, and we'll be back when it's time to eat. Oh, goodness gracious. This is going to be so good. Three hours on low, slow cook. Oh, okay, it's time. Mm. Okay, so here we have, oh yeah, black bean soup. Focus, Lisa, look at that. Okay, that is like... Picture perfect. Let me get it dished up. Our taste tester is here. Hello, Mr. Taste Tester. Hi. Hi. Okay. And so now he's going to give it a taste test. It smells really good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you still going to drown it in crackers? Don't know yet. I don't know. Okay. We have crackers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, but that's a good soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a good soup, you guys. Look at that. So good. And it smells amazing. If you want it to be soupier, you know what I mean? Add another pint of uh, broth, but really doesn't need it. I love a good hearty soup. All from the pantry. So this is for the Shelf Stable Recipes collaboration. <laughs> okay, so look down below. Um, there'll be a link where you can download the binder cover and check out all the channels that are participating. They're listed down below also. And uh, remember, we're doing this the first Tuesday of every month for the foreseeable future. Let's build those cookbooks up. Okay, until next time, everybody. Be safe.